The Peabody Award goes to 60 Minutes 2, Memories of a Massacre, an account of harrowing events during the Vietnam War. Did you or did you not come over and help him kill this older man? That is not my memory of it, but um, that's as far as I will go. If in fact it did happen, that is an old man, an old woman, and three children being killed, was it or was it not within the rules of engagement for you and your men as you understood it, if necessary, to kill those people? Yes. Uh, again, I mean, I don't know how you're going to cut this tape, but I don't have, yeah, I don't have any doubt that, uh, that the people that we killed were at the very least sympathetic to the Viet Cong and at the very most were supporting their efforts to kill us. Old uh, men, and, women, and children? Uh, the, I mean, the, yes, I mean, the Viet Cong, in a guerrilla war, the people who get caught in the middle are the civilians, and the Viet Cong were a thousand percent more ruthless than any standard operating procedure that any American GI or Navy SEAL had. Here to accept the Peabody is producer Tom Anderson. Our little story, I think, shed some light on a very nasty and horrifying night in Vietnam that was covered up for more than 30 years. Before our story even got on the air, it created a, shall I say, national conversation, and if it doesn't sound too pretentious, a national debate about history, war, possible war crimes, memory, and yes, journalism. This award belongs to many people. I respectfully and lovingly call my friend and colleague Dan Rather the anchorman of the Western world. He's also a hell of a reporter, but if you look at this story, you can see that it was his interviews which drove this story, probing and revealing without being disrespectful or too confrontational. We all thank you very much. <laughs>